welcome to I Don't Enjoy This. It, it, it's about music and me not enjoying music. There's lots of things I don't enjoy, but I don't make videos about them, like eggs. I don't enjoy eggs, but that wouldn't be a very good video, would it? But it's about new music and how much I don't enjoy it and why I don't enjoy it. In fact, it's not even about new music. I've got a song in the wings. I've got this one lined up and it sucks so hard. It's cursed. When you hear this song, you'll, you'll, you'll never be able to get it out of your head ever again. But that's for another day. Today, I'm going to be talking about this. Facts by Tom McDonald and featuring Ben Shapiro. <laughs> God, this song is bad. And well, it just goes to show that if Ben Shapiro can make a rap record, then anyone can. So how hard can it be? Yep, sorry, I'm going to be looking at facts. Dem facts. Now, cards on the table. I've no idea who Tom McDonald is. I've never heard of the guy before. But, like, looking at him, I can tell what he wants to be. <laughs> the face tats. <laughs> what is it with rapists and face tats? I mean, I've got no beef with tats. Tats are cool. I have many. But not on my face. I think it's fair to say that as soon as the Island Boys came out, having face tats became not cool. I'm an Island Boy. Remember those guys? Those dudes are related. <laughs> so, Tom McDonald is a white rapper. Kind of like an island boy. <laughs> Glad we got that sorted out. Now we come to Lil Ben. Lil Benny Shaps. Lil Shapiro. <laughs> Lil Rapiro. <laughs> ben Rapiro. You missed a trick there, dude. Now, Lil Benny Rapiro doesn't have face tats. And he's not, he's not very tall. <laughs> He says he's five foot nine, but everyone else says he's five foot four. He's not a, he's not a tall dude, and he's like forty, but he looks like he's twelve. There's, there's, I don't know, maybe Ben Button Shapiro, little Ben But Rapiro, the least scary rapper ever. In my last video, I did say that the more diminutive the rapper, the, the more cred they had, like you know, Tiny Temper, Diddy, Lil Wayne. So I'm gonna give. Lil Benny some cred here. <laughs> now, Lil Rapiro is best known for his um, political commentary. His views? I don't know. But look, I'm not taking shots at Ben for his stance on anything. This is a, 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 an apolitical video. Agree with Lil Ben. Disagree with Lil Ben. I don't care. We're here for the music. Or <laughs> lack of it. Music. And I know the song is a political statement of sorts with that, you know, which to be honest, it makes a nice change for a rap song, uh, you know, a rap song that's actually about something. I looked at Killer Mike's song last time and that, I mean, that was just a word salad. It was just nonsense. But I mean, at least this song's about something. So props, I guess. <laughs> and it got to number one. This got to number one on the Billboard charts. This dirge got to number one. Who bought this? Hands up if you bought this. I mean, I don't care whether you agree with what these guys are saying or not, and I, I don't care if the lyrics resonate with you. The song is bad. The video is bad. We've got little Ben doing his utmost to look straight. <laughs> and he, he just looks like a kid waiting for his mom to pick him up from soccer practice. I, I'm not inspired. I, I'm not getting the message. But uh, like I said, this is just the lowest common denominator in music. So that's the music without the vocals. I'm, I'm trying so hard not to get copyright claimed. Uh, I got copyright claimed last time in my first ever music video. I had like a six snippet song of Killer Mike going, <laughs> and I got copyright acclaimed. So lessons have been learned. So that's the music. This is this. So this is the music. It's a drum beat and a bass line and some noises. I don't get it. Why is this good? I demonstrated in my last video how darn easy it is to make a rap song like this. It takes seconds. You just put some beats in there and some noises. It's like we aren't trying anymore, people. This is how far we've fallen. 
Do you know what? I put it down to a lack of knowledge. People just listening to what their friends listen to or what TikTok tells them to listen to. Like, you get all these videos right on YouTube right now. I love watching them where you get some dude or some lady and they're listening to, like, Queen for the first time. <laughs> it's like, how are you 40 and you've never heard Queen? Or, or they'll do a video, like, reacting to, like, the first listen of the Beatles ever. I mean, you've never listened to the Beatles. Were you living in a cave? I mean, I'm not saying you have to like these bands. I mean, different strokes for different folks. Now the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you may not be right for some. But to have never heard these bands, and, and uh, it, it just blows my mind. Uh, uh, and then when they do listen to Bohemian Rhapsody or Hey Jude, they are completely blown away, like tears in their eyes. It's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I they found God. Now, I know what you're going to say. Dude, you haven't heard these rap songs. You haven't heard all these rap songs or these R&B songs. I'm like, yeah, that's right, because I don't like new rap or R&B, so I don't listen to it. I mean, I'm listening to it now, and I don't like it so much I'm making videos about it. I mean, I quite like OG rap or hip-hop, you know, like Public Enemy, Ice-T, NWA, Run DMC. I mean, those guys kicked ass. They were innovators. They were trailblazers. They had something to say. But since, since the 90s, rap has just got steadily worse, and I, I, I don't listen to it. It makes no sense. But I do do my best to try and listen to new music and new bands. And <sighs> but the best thing about these videos, you know, where the YouTuber listens to like Freebird for the first time, it's their reactions. I mean, they are genuinely stunned. Like, it's like an epiphany. It's, it's like they've been introduced to a whole new world of music. And, you know, that's brilliant. So if all you listen to is Ben Shapiro records, you need to you need to find new music. Get on Spotify. Or even better, watch some of these YouTubers or listen to stuff for the first time. It's an eye-opener. And to be honest, they're great videos. Very entertaining. Where, where was I? Damn it, that's what's happened. <laughs> that's what happens when you go off on a, a rant adventure. Oh, yeah. How easy it is to write and record a hip-hop or R&B song. I mean, they all sound the same now, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can kind of get the attraction behind it, you know, understand it a bit. You know, you've got the thumping bass that you can feel and the rhythmic repetitive pattern. I mean, I don't get the mumbling. <laughs> and all the auto-tune. Auto-tune ruins everything. Yep, auto-tune to fuck. If you can't sing, then you've got no right to be making records. There, I said it. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. But auto-tuning talking, I mean, it's on every record now. That's why they all sound the same. They suck. They suck balls. Now, I don't know Tom McDonald. I've got no issues with the man. You do you, Tom. I mean, he's, he's paid his dues, apparently. He's a bona fide rapper, I guess. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm sure he's a musician anyway. But Lil Benny... <laughs> Lil Benny Rapiere, he's got no excuse. He should not be rapping in his little hoodie. It is face tats. If Lil Shapiro, right, it was a political, I'm going to call him a political commentator. I don't know exactly what it is. If Lil Shapiro is a political commentator and not a rapist by trade, and he can rap as good as Tom McDonald, then surely this is proof that anybody can rap, isn't it? How many political commentators do you know, <laughs> off the top of your head, that can hit high notes like, Adele. None. It's too hard. How many political commentators out there can play guitar like, I don't know, John Mayer? None. It's too hard. But they can rap, so what does that tell you? <laughs> Let's hear Lil Rapiro spit some fire, alright? Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Lizzo, my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You're going to prison. I'm on television. Dog, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke carrots. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people, download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This oh, God, what the hell is he saying? Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You're going to prison. I'm on television. Dog, nobody knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. 
my comments section all woke Karens, and I make racks of compound interest. You'll live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. Wow. Just wow. You think Lil Ben Rapiro wrote this himself? I mean, I don't. I think he might have had some help with his homework, but just just watching little Ben in his hoodie saying shit like dog and homie and no cap. <laughs> For $100, words that have never come out of Ben Shapiro's mouth. <laughs> he keeps this up, he's going to have to pay reparations. <laughs> well, obviously Ben teaming up with Tom, it worked out and they got a number one single out of it and they managed to piss off the people that the song was aimed at. So from that perspective, it was a complete success. But I think it has showed the fatal flaw with this kind of music, and that's anyone can do it. It takes zero talent. I'm sure that if Lil Rapiro had done this on his own, it probably wouldn't have done quite as well, but because of who he is, he has a following. He does. He's got a big following. And if you like the dude or not, he's got a big fan base, and that is like the biggest hurdle for any wannabe rock star, rap store, or anything, is building a fan base. But Lil Ben has shown us that anyone can rap. And for me, that's a shot across the bow of the good ship, hip-hop. It's doomed! Anyway, don't be shy. Jump in the comments and let me know what you think of Lil Benny Rapiro or this song in general. You can also follow me on Twitter, link in the descriptions, and we can argue the toss over there. Anyway, I'm off to work on my, my most diabolical video yet. <laughs> Trust me, the next one is bad. It's going to suck. I mean, not the video. The video is going to be awesome. But the song, the song will make you want to go and Van Gogh yourself. It's that bad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.